I'm meteorologist Mark Van Cuso, and in weather history, between the months of April and October 1993, a great flood inundated the Midwest along the Mississippi and Missouri rivers. A rainy autumn in 1992 resulted in above normal soil moisture and reservoir levels. Heavy snowfall in the winter months, followed by persistent spring weather patterns on the same location, caused soils across the region to be saturated by June 1, 1993. Throughout the spring and summer, the upper Midwest was pounded with heavy rainfall, and many areas across the central and northern plains had 400 to 750 percent above normal precipitation. Over a thousand flood warnings and statements were issued. Heavy sandbagging took place. However, most failed along with the ruptured levees due to the record cresting of both rivers and their tributaries. The Mississippi River in St. Louis was 20 feet above flood stage, the highest recorded in 228 years. The 52-foot high flood wall built in 1963 to handle the volume of the 1844 flood managed to keep the flood out with just over two feet to spare. If it had been breached, the entire downtown of St. Louis would have been submerged. 30,000 square miles flooded overall. It had a peak flow rate of 1,080,000 cubic feet per second. At this rate, a volume equivalent to that of Bush Stadium would be filled in 69 seconds. The flood was among the most costly and devastating to ever occur in the U.S. with $15 billion in damages. Even after the water receded, billions of pounds of sand covered farmland and homes. It was the worst U.S. disaster of its kind since the Great Mississippi Flood of 1927, the largest flood ever recorded on the Mississippi. I'm Mark Mancuso.